Hi guys, this is Rosa Kelly and today I'm here to talk about all the books that are read on the month of May. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be back. Feels like it's been a while since I did a video and I'm excited to talk about all the books that I read on the month of May. I think May was a productive reading month even though I was super busy we had a little bit of uh, vacation time my brother was in town and I definitely wanted to spend a lot of family time um, but I did have a little bit of reading time as well um, so I think for this month I read a lot of thrillers and mystery books so this was the month of mystery for me and I really enjoyed all those books and then also I read two other books that one was romantic and one was more um i think on the personal growth i think anyway <laughs> so let's talk about the books that i read so the thrillers uh first i have here the silent patient i did do a video um kind of like a reading vlog with all the four thrillers that i read for that week and it was such a good productive reading week and i have to say that this was probably my favorite out of all the four books that i read so this is the silent patient by alex mcadalis and he actually just came out with a new book that i am dying to get to which is called the maidens and i order it but i'm waiting for it to be here so i can do my june tbr video even though it's already june 6 i think today <laughs> i'm still going to include that one in my list but this book is about this lady and she kills her husband and that's not a spoiler that is on the back of the book and then when she kills her husband she kind of loses her voice or she stops talking she chooses to stop talking and then she gets taken into this um like sanitarium or mental hospital where they're trying to find out what happened to her and why she haven't spoke for so many years and then we hear the i think the narrator is the doctor that's treating her and then we learn about his his life his mysteries and it's so good oh my goodness so the twist for this book had me speechless i did not expect how things turned out and highly highly recommend this book i don't want to say more but if you like mystery thrillers or even if you don't and you want to get into this type of books i think this is a good one to start because wow it absolutely blew my mind so after you're done reading the book and you connect all the dots it's like crazy and so yeah so i think this is one that i would probably would love to reread and just listen to all the hints that the author is giving you so another thriller that i read also on the same uh, reading vlog is the home before dark so this is by riley sager i wanted to read this book because i read his lock every door and that was another really good thriller that was i can probably say that that is the book that got me out of my reading slump and wanted me to read more and more and even more thrillers now so i went ahead and read home before dark this is one that i borrowed from the library actually i have to return it and so i wanted to do this video right away um so this is a book about this family and they basically move into this house and this house has a history of being like hunted or something happening to this house and the father knew ahead of time so he was kind of looking to write a book about you know he was looking for a story to write a book so he decided to buy the house and move into the house but things started happening and they couldn't handle living there so they move out and later on in life when their father passes away the daughter inherits the house and she didn't know at this point that the house um, was still in her family so then she decides to go into the house to kind of fix it up and list it out for sale her mother's warning her not to go but she really really has this gut feeling that the book that her uh, father <laughs> wrote wasn't real she thinks it was made up but then when she goes to the house she starts to kind of see if you know the book is it real is it made up are these things really happen did these things really happen to me when i was a kid and anyway so it's a really interesting how you start comparing the book and what she's living at the moment because the book kind of has chapters of the book that her father brought so like a book within a book which i found it was super interesting and again the ending completely not expected and 
I really love when the book just has this like when you're planning ahead and you're thinking this is what happened and it's absolutely not even <laughs> this is completely different so I love when books do that and this one definitely was an amazing read for me so I really really enjoy this book and highly recommend so the next book that I read on that same week was The Family Upstairs and this is by Lisa Jewell and so this book is it was a good thriller or a good suspense. I think it's a good family secret type of book. It had my mind kind of like tangled in between these three families. So this book talks about the story of Livy and she, when she turns 25, she gets to open this letter and basically the letter talks about um, where she comes from because she was adopted and she didn't know anything about her family. And so on her 25th birthday, she inherits the house that her um, family left behind but there's also a little mystery in this house that you get to find out and there are also three different families that at some point they live in this house so all of that um kind of tangle of mystery it's um what you get to enjoy from this book so i really liked it it really made me think because it also plays with times um like present time past time and when these families live there but i think it was a really good read it was super interesting so this was an amazing read again i think i really enjoyed this book um not as much as the other two though because this one really made me think and kind of have this map in my mind of whose family was who so it has a lot of different characters so for me it was a little bit hard to keep up but i had um kind of like a map on my head of all the different families and try to see how they connect so once you get to discover all that is it's pretty cool but at the beginning i was a little bit confused i'm not gonna lie because there are a lot of different um characters on this book but i do recommend this book i think it was such a fun read and i enjoy it so the next book that i have here for you is the perfect song by lauren north this is another book that i borrowed from the library and this is i think her debut novel i really did like this book this is one that i didn't have audiobook for so i was just reading it and it took me quite a long time to finish this book longer than a week for sure and i think the book was a little bit more of a slow paced read and so i think for chapters and chapters a lot of things are not really happening until you go back and then you're like oh so this is okay so this is why they go so in detail for this and that uh, but overall i really like how this book was reading i like the interaction between how she starts remembering things and she gets interviewed and then she's narrating um so the book talks about tess and she basically loses her husband on a really tragic accident and she's having a really hard time coping with that and um she kind of hears her husband talking to her so this book talks about tess and i smile because that's the name of my daughter so it was kind of cute to read the book in here although the story wasn't as cute so tess loses her husband and a really tragic accident and she's having the hardest time coping with that so she can't even get out of bed she can't do anything and she really suspects of her um, brother-in-law her husband's brother to kind of he's kind of pushing her to open up the wheel and she's trying to find out why is he so pushy she's really not interested on in that and so there's a lot of family drama in there as well but then she has an eight-year-old son and he disappears on his birthday so the book kind of goes back from the time that her husband died and is counting the days towards the son's birthday so you don't know yet what happens on how he disappears but at the same time she's getting interviewed by the police and trying to find out what happened to her son so she does she has no idea so it's kind of like this memory loss and she's trying to remember what happens from the day that her husband died until the day that her son disappears and she suspects of her grieving counselor there was this lady who um, basically knocks on her door and says that she was a grieving counselor and they become friends and she literally couldn't do anything without her and then when the son disappears she suspects that the grieving counselor has something to do with that so it's a really good 
it has a really really good uh plot so i do recommend this book another book that i read this month was the picture of dorian gray by oscar wilde and so this is of course a classic and this book was so interesting to me i was having conversations with my mom after because she has read the book many years ago and i think there has been a movie as well this is a book about dorian who is a narcissist and he gets this portrait of him painted by um, this artist and somehow he makes a wish that he would like to stay the as the way that he was portrayed on this picture uh, forever for eternity so there are things that he has to do to maintain his beauty for for years and so that is the mystery behind the picture i don't want to talk more about the things that he does to maintain his beauty for years but um i thought it was amazing it was interesting i love the way how it was written and i actually had the audiobook of that and so yeah so i really enjoyed that one as well so the next book that i read is lovely war by julie berry i really love this book i highly recommend it so it made me fell in love <laughs> so this book talks about the war the misery of the war and all the bad things that are happening so it has, it has those two aspects the the cruelty of the war and how they describe it and how people are suffering but there's also the um the love that behind it the, that unconditional love that kind of overcomes time and overcomes distance and this very old-fashioned love the love letters and this book is narrated with the point of view of the gods we have aphrodite who is the one trying to make these two characters for in love actually there's four um two couples and she's kind of like giving them that push of like tell her this or kiss her or something so it was really really cute and so the main protagonist she is a uh, pianist and so if you get the audiobook for this i highly recommend it because you can actually hear the tunes that are played on this book as well and they're just quite lovely and i really enjoy this book it made me just like take it takes you to this place of something magical and lovely but at the same time you get a lot of the realistic elements from the war so it's a good balance i think and yeah beautiful highly recommend it as well and then the last book that i read this month is the yellow wife by sakita johnson and so this is one that i did not have on my tbr but it became available on my audiobook from my libby app and i said oh i've been wanting to read this so i just jump on it and another one that was one of my other favorites for this month highly recommended so this book is about the life of phoebe dolores and phoebe dolores is born a slave and she is the daughter of this doctor and so basically her mom was a doctor for the family and she gets treated really well the family where they live they treat him really well she knew how to write she was raised properly she knew how to play the piano which of course it's very uncommon for any slave um so she lived this life of privilege and she was promised that on her 18th birthday, she was going to be set free. Sadly, her mom passes away before she turns 18. And then she gets taken away from the family and basically sold into these men who is the owner of a, like a slave jail. And so he's a cruel man, but he somehow falls in love with her. So she decides that to survive, she had to become his wife that's why she's called the yellow wife so she just does whatever she needs to do to survive and it is a beautiful story of strength and survival if you read this book i invite you to read the author's note at the end so this is book although it's fiction it is based on the research that the author did and she actually went and visited this jail place and it's really interesting how she kind of put together the pieces and then make this book but um kind of like reconstructing what she thought you know how, how the events turned out so i really love this book and 
I highly highly recommend this is probably the best book that I read this whole so month. there you have it those are the books that I read for the month of May let me know if you have read any of these books or if you want to put any of these books on your TBR let me know which books you read on the month of May I will be back with my June TBR I just I'm waiting for one book to get to yes. me I want to thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you on the next one